gameplay, and which you don't usually describe Mega Man in such a way, yep. but he inputs and his tech skill all comes out all at once in a barrage of different setups and set plays and traps and all, everything in between. Meanwhile, Leon makes the most out of what he's got. Simple mm -hmm. but effective and everything that belongs in that window as what Bowser can do can just feel surprisingly encompassing sometimes. Yeah. Simple but effective. He is the king of option coverage. He baits option out an dodge, and then he's just able to be like, oh damn, you air dodge in front of my face? Side me. Grab every single day of the week. Right now, Leon going to be looking for this jump and going to be looking for this opening against MPG, uh, who just misspaced the pellet on a shield. Oh, and getting hit by the last hit of neutral, or trying to find an option out of shield a little bit too early. We're seeing the ledge trap coming out from Leon. A nice and simple jump back, get the down throw, reset. Going a little deep, though. Everything from Leon, really starting with some of these falling forward airs, which can be hard to land on a mobile tank that is MPG. Mm -hmm. But given the positioning and the stage control that Leon seems to really try and resort back to, it's a interesting set play, but the uh, the ledge trap coming out from MPG is starting off extremely strong, bouncing B uh, Bowser back and forth, unable to get past his ledge unless the tough guy was there powering through the leaf shield and getting a stock off wow. of it. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I've got to say, down tilt through Mega Man is a bit of a meme. It's it not the best move. Uh, you know, people kind of cloud on a little bit, but that's like such good implementation, right? You have the down to be able to cover uh, in immediate, like, Oh my gosh. You jumped. Just interrupting me. <laughs> man, you jumped. If they want to let Mega Man. Don't jump there. Do not jump. If you're going to give it up, dude, just take that hit. Just hold out. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I think maybe that was actually a down air input earlier because that's what it really seems like yep. Leon is just forcing their way down with eating a ton of damage in the process. And I really can't blame him sometimes, especially if uh, MPG decides to get a little bit too jungle happy. Being met with Bowser down air is certainly a massive punish. Oh, yeah. Now just needs a way to be able to make it over the ledge. I love the high recovery. Didn't eat the spike out of it. An MPG buffering a directional air dodge out of disadvantage. Did not snap onto the ledge and met his untimely demise of a second stock. And there is the leaf shield cancels that we've seen MPG really put into effect in such masterful ways. You can cancel it bo both by picking up and throwing the metal blade. And it's always a mix up depending on how MPG approaches it and especially if you're blocking. Oh, yeah. But right now, Leon just playing this really patiently, playing this really slowly. Going to be looking for the way to be able to land through directional air dodges right into a back hoop. Will he be able to make it onto the stage? MPG, this coverage is suffocating. Oh, and chasing down with just those simple rising forward airs. I bet Leon was thinking that another up air would come out, so they had uh, plenty of space to land and plenty of damage to do so, but not quite there. MPG knowing just uh, w knowing the percentages of when to close out stocks, even on a giant uh, oh, yeah. character like Bowser. Oh, man. MPG's opening up everything, but the instant reversal from Leon sets up a lead trap of his own. Oh, but the side B didn't stick onto the stage. I think he positioned it a little bit too high. It clipped the ledge and not the side of the stage as he was looking for it. All of a sudden, MPG wasn't able to mitigate this ledge trap. He has Metal Blade in hand, and he reverses the situation. This has now become his own advantage. Look at this. Look at all of that coverage, all those projectiles. Yeah, plenty of the pellets coming in and coming in clutch for sure, but we're back at neutral here, Dara. And that's an instant win for Leon. Yep. Just being able to get off of ledge like they did, knowing what hits to take and knowing what hits they can even power straight through just to force their way back to center. And one Bowser back air is killing from anywhere on stage. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That was just like a classic jump call out. Are you just waiting? You're jumping in the face, doing it over and over again. And then finally, when they do jump, that is when you commit to your button. That's when you get what you're looking for. Beautiful stuff they from Leon. So keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Remember in the in the second stock, MPG was rewarded for calling out a Bowser double jump. So Leon showed it to him three times in that final um, in those final moments, only to beat out MPG with a preemptive strike and a preemptive strike it was. Oh, yeah. Super clean stuff from Leon to instantly throw off uh, uh, throw off MPG's timings and break a little bit of that confidence. And if you go into a Bowser matchup unconfident, that's a that's how heavy weights <laughs> the guy. There's like a whole it psychological does. breakdown of how zoners make you frustrated and how you know grapplers, heavyweights in Smash, right, uh, make you sort of fearful. As soon as you become afraid of some of these options, that's when they're able to take away space from you. MPG though, low profiling the side view with a down tilt, trying to be able to find a way to mix up his landing, using the down in as a safe projectile to then retreat to the platform. Such good use of his tools. Yeah, can never sleep on just how safe Mega Man down air is. That hard knuckle goes crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it worth hard. it. I mean, it, a round of applause, round of applause, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're looking equally for those slash calls and some of these metal blades as well. MPG deciding just to set up more within the corner, not rushing things, instead canceling with that leaf shield, yet unable to close out the stock quite yet with yet another back air. Yeah, keeping it steady, fantastic. Spacing tries to go out there through the downing, but Leon doesn't fully lean into it, drifts out a little bit to the left, avoids it, and makes it onto the stage first. Is backfield going to be able to kill? Yes, it will be, especially at the edge of the stage. MPG not going to be able to hold on to this lead much longer with Leon, these quintessential jump callouts. Yeah, this is, I think you hit the nail on the head, Dara. Like just, this is quintessential Leon, where they make the most out of all of Bowser's tools, and they find, with the absurdity that Bowser is and as fast as he is, to utilize that speed and to utilize that raw damage output oh, yeah. to make some big plays when they count and turn, and turn small leads and small openings into big damage. Not to mention having a frame six command grab feels pretty good feels fantastic, um, I've got to say. But right now, oh my gosh, look at all of that shield pressure that you're just able to get off on Leon. They were able to deal so much damage, but now you're stuck at that ledge yet again. Leon goes through the early commitment, and he is punished for it. The meteor blast line coming into full effect as uh, Leon met his untimely demise. Yeah, it's super clean stuff from MPG to punish that early recovery and punish that arguably lazy recovery. Leon has been doing so good at uh, using the up behind and then drifting to ledge but equally as good as finding these two frames, Woo! not even a two frame there, just punishing the air dodge, forcing MPG to do it again, lather, rinse, repeat, Dara. Yeah, swipe, swipe, over and over again, and MPG was just out of options. There's really nothing else that you could have done to safely recover to the ledge. You're all out of jumps, you're all out of resources, so that's kind of all that you have left. But now MPG, just good BNBs coming out of him, and wow, that uphill spacing and timing to catch Leon jumping back into him. Playing it super well thus far, getting a simple up throw into that up air. The damage being largely equal, 6% is basically nothing. Ooh, but you always got to look out. Oh, great spot dodge from MPG in that scramble situation. So devastating, and you know you want to pull up shield. Oh my gosh, and that coverage too, like with that up tilt, tried to land with the down air. He was going through like some sort of like shield break we set up too. Getting another back here. Leon had to air dodge. He had to. He had no other way of getting the horizontal drift at which he needed. He had no double jump, no air dodge. He stacks no paper and no stocks too. Oh my god. Wow, full charge shot at the very corner. That's the, yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna oh, yeah. do it well in spades as she's using out some stages. I, I think the <laughs> I think they're both reacting to the stage list of some kind, but we get a nice little glance. I like how Leon throughout most of this game. Oh, you saw that? Oh, the double oh, jump. that's the double jump, baby. There that it was is. the definitive moment. This was the one that changed the course of Leon's life, his Bowser stock uh, forever. As soon as you see that little halo, you already know that you're going one place and one place only, and that is uh, to the heavens, because when you got no double jump and you're off stage in this kind of a game, my friend, you got no other options left. You just have to eat that back here because you don't want to air dodge that. It Mega Man can fall faster than you. And now you have to directional air dodge to get the momentum that which you need. And this is an inevitability. You have to eat this. Okay, Thanks for the motion, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> So I really like the levels that we're seeing coming out from these two, where Leon was actively rewarded for trying to get uh, MPG to call out his jumps mid-stage, able to punish prematurely with a big back air in game one. In game two, however, MPG found a yeah. lot of uh, a lot of strength off of instead of going for uh, instead of letting Bowser play around these platforms and like showing off those double jumps. Instead, it's like, okay, I'm just going to throw out these rising aerials a little bit earlier than you expect. So it's constantly one-upping each other, and it's just a matter of who ends up hard whiffing with some of these early aerials they've been throwing out. That positional pressure was insane. And can you actually blame MPG if we put, uh, like, popping out a spot dodge like that? That was Bowser jumping out. You had mob speed. You were afraid of a back here. So you have to spot dodge. You have to be careful in that moment. You have to be afraid of a side B. But now, the placenta all but even. MPG needs a setup to get that stock. Leon only needs a one-piece, a two-piece piece. All he needs is to get MPG off stage and one good F tilt, or perhaps an F throw. Not nah, quite. Yeah, not quite on Kalos. Speaking of Kalos, uh, Leon has been counterpicking here all day, which is not usually a luxury they get given uh, Jersey rule set being as it is, but the, the amount of space that you're providing on this stage, the lack of platforms in the middle yep. means that you're basically uninhibited when coming down with Bowser's giant forward air, which seems to be the center of Leon's offense, as we see right there, getting a fair into that flying slam. 
Yeah, oh, but that one time just landing a little bit unsafely, they're gambling it, and then just gets hit with an up smash out of shield. You see a lot of the way that Leon is pacing high blue sets to avoid a lot of MPG's win conditions. He's hitting in shield. Bowser has one of the best shields in the game, not just because of up B, but because of how difficult it is to get a grab on him without yep. fully committing to it, just because of properties of shield pushback and his uh, environmental collision box. Environmental collision box is a word that you might hear more and more often as we get into the later stages of Smash oh, yeah. Ultimate's lifespan because hurt box shifting is fully accurate whether you like it or <laughs> whether it's good or bad, I'll say that. Yeah, but okay, Leon, you saw him waiting out that downer. He's able to make it back on is what I would say, but then MPG slightly misspaced that for you. Leon sitting in shield nice and patient, goes through that back but hey, multi purpose because he got that what metal blade. Able to just to tech off the wall there after seeing the downer coming in clutch from MPG, bracing himself for that impact. But it's just a matter of how well you can Ooh. land, and landing with downer is not exactly ideal. Yeah. It's big, uh, go big or go home with that button, and Leon is heading, that stock is heading right home. MPG braced himself with that impact. Huge that descending really Bowser, he was able to get that punish, and now once again just getting his BNBs off, almost gets that up and waited a little bit too long before pulling the trigger on it, but now he's just able to make it up in spades. Look at this damage output. Oh, and canceling it with the pickup of the Metal Blade. Uh, Leon was looking for a punish out of shield from that Leaf Shield, but MPG just not giving to him. This Flying Slam will close out the stock thanks to the amount of rage that Bowser is currently sporting, and we can never... Woo! Woo! That's that good stuff, and I've got to say, it is so good to execute that on those big body super heavies because that is the easiest execution window that Mega Man is going to be able to get that off. Let's have a little discussion. What happened? How did we even get here? What, what happened for Leon to actually fall into this position? So let's talk a little bit about uh, Leaf Shield. It is 2022 and people still do not know that you can cancel Leaf Shield by A, picking up an item, B, tossing an item. Yep. So you're able to combo the Leaf Shield into the toss of the Metal Blade and then you're able to cancel the end lag of that Leaf Shield and then follow it up with an up tilt. And it's so nice that you get to do this on a big body like Bowser because, hey, you just dash into his limbs have extended fully into the stage and he is a big vulnerable target for you to uh, up tilt. Granted, it is an actual glitch. And it wasn't discovered. In, it wasn't uh, fully implemented until 2021. Hmm. So, uh, Mega Man thinks, <laughs> but the Mega Man community is dedicated, as you can see by MPG's sporting fit: the hat, the shirt, the the undershirt, the sweatshirt. All of it is Mega Man oriented. He lives and breathes this character, and you can see that in his play and just how like well attuned he is to everything Mega Man. Some of the coolest game mechanics in, in all of the history of fighting games have been glitches. This is Wave true. dashes, edge cancels, you know, uh, Mega Man leaf shield cancels, but either way, try to get those drag down back here, set up, get a couple of up here as well. MPG right now is just playing clean, but I'm curious to see what this hero pick can do. You gotta get that bounce off. Yeah, bounce can shut down basically everything in Mega Man's kit with the exception of forward, and, uh, forward air and back air. Which uh, and up tilt as well, which is uh, pretty good. But the uh, the problem here is that you're letting me you're letting MPG consume even more space. Hero is extremely extremely slow. You're forced to rely on that range. And while Leon's hero is has gotten exponentially better throughout the weeks and throughout the months that they've been playing them in response to some yeah. problematic matchups. Uh, it's get, it gets a little bit tough in order to try and shut down MPG with just how fast that they've been playing. Granted, the ledge can shut down any amount of speed because you just got so little space to work yeah, with. But up tilt, that's not going to be able to take it. A couple blue cents too low. MPG backing off a little bit. Doesn't find the metal blade, which would have been able to confirm into like a back hill, maybe just, you know, another up tilt. F to go for a bit of stage control. And uh oh, you got to be careful about those down -ears. Bounce is still active, and uh, yeah, that hard knuckle is a projectile. Yep. Hard knuckle, metal blade. Uh, Back air, oh, not back air, it's not a projectile, but you saw it come out there. You saw that double jump? I want to say it's a double jump, but it also could have just been the idea, the fact that Leon was in Accelerado, which not only mm. makes you faster, but it also makes you lighter. Yeah, something with like shell can like jump on it as well. Yeah. I've definitely seen that before. Um, specifically with like Jellidus King 1 playing. I swear that is an interaction that has transpired at least once. Does it get the F tilt 1 into F tilt 2 as MPG dips down, makes it back onto the stage, and looking for this next hit, this next opening? All right, the Oomph and Accelerado both on one. <gasps> he did it! He, oh, he missed the second uh, cancel. The instant footstool into the leaf shield, almost getting him yeah. with the Yonky Spoinky there, of which we learned before the match even began. 
super clean stuff from MPG showing off just how much uh, availability Mega Man can have to all of these conversions and all of these options that a toolbox character like Mega Man can exist. That is both of the most toolbox characters, but I feel like uh, Leon is a little bit more of just like a hammer and nail kind of guy, right? <laughs> he is very minimalistic. He's fun to base with his hero. And who cares about the screwdrivers and the drills when you have up tilt? The best anti-hero in the game, yeah. subjective. For, maybe. <laughs> could, it could be, and at the very least, is a yeah. both an up tilt and an up smash in Heroes Kit because you're only using up smash for memes. I'm sorry, hero players. <laughs> oh yeah, but oh, oh my no gosh. jump. Yeah. But also not much on the menu in order to take advantage of a deep pr mm -hmm. of a deep press. Instead, just waiting for the ledge trap. Having psych up online is huge here, though. 92%, just one back air could close out the stock, and you could find easier means of finding it with the Accelerado going deep for that back air and looking for yet more and more, throwing out that button time and time again. Oh, yeah. Wait on Metal Blade in hand yet again. MPG just playing this so, so patiently. Tries to go through that down and spike. It seems like he's struggling to initiate a little bit more now. Leon has to respect that leaf shield because he had the Metal Blade to be able to cancel its end lag. Okay, Zoom is on deck. Do you get the right guess? You do not. It is RNG, baby. <laughs> that forward smash was... Uh a little bit extra, to say the least. Leon sometimes throwing it out. But speaking of, when you pull that menu and you see Kaboom at those high, when you have enough mana to use it, why not? Yeah, that's how that's how you pull. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Leon pull some magic cards. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get out of there. Absolutely not. No. Oh no. <laughs> what was? What was? What was MPG pressing? He was uh, up question. throw the metal blade. Why? 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 I would like to know, <laughs> actually, uh, you know. Oh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's like he's seeing bounce, and he's like, you know what? This bounce, I'm not trying to have any of that. I'm not trying to toss this out and reflect that. I'm not trying right. to put this down and let my opponent use it. So maybe I'm just kind of getting rid of this as a tool for, like, later. But, uh, Meta oh, man. But Metal Blade doesn't come back. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not coming back. <laughs> just throwing it. It's like, all right, nobody can have this. And also next game. <laughs> uh jeez. Well, right. game five. Game five, small what battlefield. Start off, yeah? I, I agree. Yeah, I agree with starting off with a game five. I agree starting off in this top four, in this winner's finals, with uh, getting down to the wire and getting down to different characters from what we started with. I agree with that as a concept. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Leon now gonna, has to, uh, gonna have to find a way off that ledge, that side beat. Ever so disjointed is what I would say until MPG just able to duck under the shield it, but a good zoom, but gets caught by uh, MPG still. Yeah, able to take the gamble and paying it off with just one up air. I really like this stage as a hero. Uh, in relation to hero, though, not only do you, do you let does it let you control a lot of space with your extremely large sword and the flexibility of things like up tilt and jab, but also Accelerado and Kaboom can just trap help you travel full stage, and the range of Zapel can never be understated. That shield pressure that which MPG is just able to apply every single step of the game is nuts. He goes out there, he goes, he gets that double jump forward. Beautiful stuff. If he whipped it, he would have gone back onto the stage and still been in an excellent position to continue his ledge trap. Yeah, playing around these platforms extremely well, but not going for a drop zone down air. MPG not risking it, instead just trying to forfeit it into a ledge trap. But wow, that could crackle slash hit! It did burn the psych up though, and not getting any of the knockback moves because of it. Scouting out that landing, trying to find a way to be able to get in here. Leon forces out that air dodge, but doesn't fully commit to the bit. He had no MP. He couldn't go deep because he wouldn't be able to whoosh her, swoosh her, because swoosh onto the stage. You have nothing. You broke. Oh, I love, I love uh, Dragon Quest spell names. Oh, they so good, dude. <laughs> Somebody was, like, paid over the time for that. Yeah, whoosh, oh, yeah. swoosh. Whoosh and your swoosh and your swoosh <laughs> with the, your zap, zap, your zapples and your zap. <laughs> you shouldn't even give kids that. That's so good, dude. <laughs> Anyways, FPG, uh, three stocks to two right now. He's still staying alive somehow at 153%. Yeah, at this point, you're going, wow, wait, that Metal Blade into falling up air was so clean from MPG, get, catching the neutral getup and converting that into a massive stock. Yeah, as technically speaking, MPG's execution is pristine right now. Foyder into the back here as well. He scouts out that air dodge and then just barely misspaces it with the Foyder. But his intention is there. He had the read and then he takes a nap. Yeah, getting caught by the snooze. Sometimes you're getting a little bit too lost in the sauce and getting hit by one of those stray projectiles. But Hero, 
He's one of those characters that can quite literally steal games. Oh, yeah. Leon burns through a lot of mana quickly, but crit. Oh. He's trying to cheat. <laughs> Somebody is trying to cheat. Somebody is rolling that die. It is like, maybe today. <laughs> but it could be. It could be. One and eight. <laughs> one and eight. Is it one and six? It's one and eight, yeah. yeah. I think... I don't remember, but it's it, either way. If you're playing the odds and you're playing the dice roll. Oomph online. That dash deck would have broken shield if they saved for the psych up. Instead, it's just it always ends up being single buff at a time. And I want to praise MPG for their full screen pressure because of it. Anytime Leon gets to pull menu, it, they only get to check it usually just once. Oh yeah. MPG's movement is so safe right now, dashing in, dashing out, just playing at this really unpunishable mid-range. But that time, he leans in a little bit too much. He will be going unpunished. He's looking through all of these safe multi-hits with Baku on shield. He's going out there. Eldar just passed that snooze, and he's still applying all of that pressure. That Metal Blade, though, at the hands of that bounce does not mean anything. Yeah, Leon trying to go for a big back of there instead. Woo! They have to sacrifice all of their recovery mix-ups in order to go for that whack. And MPG making sure they didn't hit Leon in their pop off, but popping off nonetheless, catching the air dodge with yet another hard knuckle and oh, closing, he's so happy. <laughs> closing he's out so the happy. set. What a what a dude. You can't hate MPG. You yeah. can't. <laughs> he is one of the sweetest, kindest people I've ever met. He was like talking to us about about the Yoinky Splinky with yeah. like his eyes lit up. Yeah. He was so happy about it. That's a, that's a Mega Man setup. Who okay, those uninitiated? Because I know there's a bunch of fighting game people listening in. We have a setup called the Yoinky Splunky. Don't you want to play Smash? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's quite the setup, in fact. I mean, you do you implement basically everything that we were seeing throughout. What are, what is we got here? Uh, 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 credits. This is where you go with credits. <laughs> 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 but it, he's one of the Mega Man. So. There's different kind of oh. flavors of Mega Man. Um, the most popular one we've been seeing is uh, Peep Nut, who plays a very, very stable neutral, plays a, uh, a lot more around the timings of Crash Bomber, for oh, instance, yeah. and a very flexible. While uh, MPG is all in on trying to implement every bit of tech that Mega Man has yep. to, at their disposal. The flexibility of Leaf Shield and cancels and Metal Blade into falling up bears, Rush Coil cancels. like putting it all together into one seamless flow. And it's not even always about that advanced tech. Sometimes it's back to basics with positional pressure and just scaling your opponent to doing something. He didn't go for the immediate down, and Leon was nowhere near oh, yeah. him. Instead, all that he did was he jumped after him. He was like, oh, man, you know what you should be afraid of? You should be afraid of a backer, which is going to cover all of this space effectively. It's going to cover it beautifully. Instead, he just jumps in there. Leon's like, okay, I'm afraid of a backer. I'm afraid of eating any hit at this point. Right. So he has to directional air dodge, and then that's when MPG is able to double jump. He's able to reposition. He's able to punish that, and then he's able to get that spike on Leon. Yeah, super, super well played on the part of MPG. And I just really, really adore how they were managed to play their offense and evolve their offense oh, yeah. around.